The 637 has the ability to have up to 10 individual flight modes. When we say 10 individual flight modes, that means that you can have gains, you know, heading, safe functions, uh, priorities, and so on. You can have independent settings for up to 10 different settings. You know, you think of a flight mode as a particular segment. So I can have, you know, flight mode one can have X settings, flight mode two, three, and clear up to 10. Now keep in mind, 10's an awful lot. And there are only a couple transmitters that will allow that. Most of the transmitters that, uh, that Spectrum has, we either have you know, three flight modes or five flight modes. The iX20, with the latest software update, actually allows up to 10 flight modes. So I'll show you how to set up multiple flight modes above three. So again, the 637T, um, if you activate it, it comes set up for three flight modes, but we'll show you how to expand on that. The first thing we need to do is enable multiple flight modes above three on the 637T. In order to do that, I'm gonna to go to forward programming, go to gyro settings, system setup, utilities, and enable flight modes. Now, this comes defaulted to five, or defaulted to three. I've already set that to five, so, Go in and set the number of flight modes that you choose, but keep in mind that you may be limited based on the transmitter that you have. In this case, I have an iX20 here, but I'm gonna set up flight, five flight modes. So I've enabled that. Now, in order for me to activate those flight modes, I need to go to the core settings in the transmitter itself. So let me go back to the main screen I'll go to model setup and I'll go to flight mode setup. I'll hit proceed. Okay, in this case, I had already had three flight modes set up on switch B. So right here, here's flight mode two, flight mode three, flight mode one. I'm gonna add another flight mode uh, switch and that's, you know, that's in order to get to five flight modes, I'm gonna have to have two switches in combination. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit, and hit switch select for switch B, and in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select this switch. Now you'll notice at the top left-hand corner of the screen, right here, we have a matrix. Now we can adjust by hitting, reassigning a current flight mode, we can actually change this. But what I'm able to do by utilizing these two switches, I can select up to five flight modes. And I can make those positions anything that I want or the flight modes I want based on those switch positions by reassigning the flight modes. So here's where you're gonna assign those flight modes. And now I have five flight modes available. So from this point, I need to go to digital switch setup. In digital switch setup, I need to select flight modes. In digital switch setup, it shows five flight modes. That's because we just set up those five flight modes. Now, there's gonna be a chart that we're gonna show you, and in order to coincide those five flight modes, or up to 10 flight modes, you need to go into digital switch setup and assign flight mode one, the percentage that it shows in that graph. So you need to do that for, for each flight mode that you choose. I've already taken the liberty to do that. So after you've done that, now you can go back to forward programming, forward programming, and then gyro settings. Let's go to AS3X gains. Now you'll notice up here, I have five flight modes and I can change flight mode three, two, one, flight mode four. So, you know, I've just assigned four flight modes. Now keep in mind, each of those flight modes I can set up independently. So that's how you can set up to 10 flight modes using the 637T.